So, you are discussing about the whey protein and uh, because of the time constraint we had to stop at uh, beta lactoglobulin or beta lactalbumin right and uh, let us look into its continuity that this was that a higher concentration of uh, beta lactoglobulin are present in bovine milk compared to that in human milk right. Now, some more are they are about the beta lactoglobulin that beta lactoglobulin is better in terms of heat stability than that of the alpha lactoglobulin due to the presence of free sulfhydryl unit right the free sulfhydryl unit is there because of that it is better in terms of heat stability than that of the alpha lactoglobulin. It contains open beta barrel enclosing a hydrophobic clipped and a single three turn alpha helix. It also binds to several hydrophobic molecules including including uh, uh, including rationol and retinol rather and fatty acids via the hydrophobic acid which uh, via the hydrophobic acid clipped which in turn stimulates lipase activity right. So, these are the some of the reasons we come across why different proteins when present in milk they are subjected to different enzymes. So, when we will come to enzyme also that time you will see that how different types of enzymes are present in milk and uh, what actions they are causing or producing right. However, it is here we see that it binds to that beta lactoglobulin binds to several hydrophobic molecules including retinol, retinol and fatty acids via hydrophobic clipped which in turn stimulates lipase activity right. So, the moment lipase activity is there or it stimulates lipase activity which in turn acts on the lipids right lipase is the enzyme acting on the lipid right so so other other uh, 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 other uh, whey proteins are like immunoglobulin immunoglobulin right from the word immune. So, it appears that some immunity or things like that is associated right. It is true that it is associated with both antibodies that are synthesized in response to specific antigen. So, antigen antibodies these are associated with immunization or immunity of the uh, of the of the of the I do not say living unit I do not say only bovine or on or mammals it is true for uh, all living units and there this immunoglobulin typically is associated with the antibody and antigen these things right antigen antibodies are uh, I mean these are uh, I do not say mirror image, but they are like uh, I mean uh, as close as they are. Oh, if one is there the other also will be there right. So, antigen antibody these are. Now, what is that antibody? Antibody is also called immunoglobulins antibody is also called sorry immunoglobulins and 
also called immunoglobulins and, and there are y shaped molecules are proteins manufactured by the body that help fight against foreign substances called antigens. So, the moment antigen has taken place the immediately body mechanism tries to develop antibody to that antigen right and this antigen is the uh, is the source of the infection. So, antigens are any substance that stimulates the immune system to produce antibodies right. Antigens can be bacteria, virus, fungi that causes the infection and diseases in the body system. So, when this antigen is there, it is triggering simultaneously to produce the antibodies to fight against the antigen right. So, immunoglobulins are large heterogeneous molecules found in blood. The main immunoglobulins in milk are the main immunoglobulins in milk are IgG right IgG or Ig2, IgA and IgM. So, main immunoglobulins uh, are IgG, Ig2, IgA and IgM out of which this immunoglobulin G that is IgG the most abundant type of antibody and is found in all body fluids except in all body fluids and protects against bacterial and viral infections right. It protects against bacterial and viral infections and this is present in all body fluids right whatever body fluid we have it is not only the blood which is the body only having right. So, body fluids are also there. So, there it is all IgG or immunoglobulin G and it is abundant uh, type of antibody present in the body and present throughout the fluid of the body. Now, another one is uh, immunoglobulin M or IgM which is found mainly in the blood and the limb which is found mainly in the blood and the limb and is the first antibody to be made by the body to fight a in new infection. So, the first antibody which is produced by the body to fight against the infection which has come up. So, that is the IgM and this again if you have seen if you have come across with the blood tests of your uh, parents or seniors then you might have seen some of them might have been advised by the doctors to undergo the test like IgG, IgM, etc. Right. So, that means how good is the antibody, how good is the protective mechanism of the body that is to be understood or that is to be tested. So, that is why those tests are given. So, here also we see this antibody IgM that is the first antibody which is developed by the body to protect against the newly invent, invaded the infection right. Then immunoglobulins provide offspring with protection against pathogens 
and their toxin and the mammary gland against infection right many times or subsequently also perhaps we will come across that there are some diseases which are also infecting on the mammary gland as well the tip so that so that the milk which is being milked or which is being extracted from the animal or a mammalian that could be infected right so this is a very bad situation if by chance that kind of infection happens so it provides offspring that is number of next generation with protection against pathogens and toxins and the mammary gland against infection in bovine milk approximately 0.7 to 1 mg per liter 0.7 to 1 mg per liter is present this is uh, in bovine milk right so this uh, immunoglobulin is around 0.7 to 1 mg per milliliter present in bovine milk structural unit of immunoglobulins are similar so immunoglobulins here we said igg igm ig2 iga so their structural similarity they have structural similarity so if one structure is remembered maybe others are very close and that similarity you can draw and also you can identify or tell right so all immunoglobulins they have structural similarity right now two heavy and two light chains are joined together heavy and light means big uh, amino acid chains or small amino acid chains that's what it is uh, meant that two heavy and two light chains are joined together by dial sulfide bond right that is sorry that is dial sulfide bonds two heavy and two uh, two light chains are there so that is dial sulfide bond so one s one s so this and this can react or or this can be linked or joined right so two heavy and two light chains are joined together to for by the by the disulfide bond so igg is the main immunoglobulin in milk igg is the main immunoglobulin in milk and then another protein called serum albumin i hope this serum we have defined earlier and not going to repeat serum albumin there are 582 numbers of amino acids 582 numbers of amino acids and longest protein because you see so many numbers up till now we have seen 100 150 around things now here it is 582 almost 600 so 3 to 4 times so those many so it is the longest protein that serum albumin is the longest protein approximately around 66 kilo dalton is the molecular is the molecular mass right 66 kilo dalton alpha helix is predominant alpha helix is predominant and it is 1 to 5% of the total whey protein right this serum albumin is 1 to 5% of the total whey protein that depends on like earlier also you have said that the type of breed or place or feed or many 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 causes are there for which this can be varying between 1 to 7 or 
synthesized this is this uh, serum albumin is synthesized in the liver and sent and enters the milk by a secretory cells. So, there are secretory cells right there are secretory cells and these secretory cells are allowing the synthesized uh, serum albumin and uh, enters into the blood stream right synthesized in the liver and enters the milk via the secretory cells right. Then so other proteins like prote proteos and peptones right again from the word protein it is it is it, it, it is sounding similar that proteos and peptones they are derived from the hydrolysis of beta casein we have seen alpha s1 alpha s2 beta and gamma caseins are there so here it is alpha from the beta casein uh, by the hydrolysis this proteos and peptones are prepared right or it is synthesized but consider but considered whey proteins this is also considered as whey protein though it is it is made from beta casein but still hydrolysis of beta casein still it is in the family of whey protein not in the family of casein right because it eludes because it eludes in the whey fraction when isolated from milk right. So, eludes means extracted it eludes it right extracted from some absorbed things things come out. So, they are called elute right. So, it eludes in whey protein whey fraction when isolated from milk right. So, it is heat stable and acid soluble protein heat stable and acid soluble both are there. So, this proteos peptones are heat stable as well the acid uh, whenever it is uh, being put in acid. So, it is acid soluble proteins responsible for foaming of milk that uh, foam when it comes I do not know how many of you have seen that during the milking time the there is a lot of foam which is which is generated right and uh, you are you are normally advised do not take the first milk or maybe the last milk because the moment you take the first milk then this kind of systematic uh, standardization or this type of uh, systemization has not taken place. Whereas, the moment you got the moment you got that uh, high acid soluble and heat stable uh, proteins which are responsible for the forming of the milk. Uh, so, foaming of milk is responsible for this this one is and it inhibits rancidity right. If there is some fat so that can be that fat can be hydrolyzed or rancid it can be it can be rancid, but this prevents or inhibits the rancidity who that proteos peptones these uh, proteins right and it has an immuno uh, immunological role. So, that means some immunity concerned things are associated with this proteos and peptones. Some more information hopefully we can share and that is that proteos is what is uh, is any of various water soluble compounds that are produced during 
digestion by the by the hydraulic uh, breakdown by the hydraulic uh, hydrolytic breakdown not hydraulic hydrolytic breakdown of proteins short of the amino acid stage right proteins short of amino acid stage that is the proteins are not so big not to the extent that it is broken to the to the amino acids basic units but not very far away from the amino acid stage somewhere in between, but not definitely the one which we had been talking about right. So, it is a protease is any of various water soluble compounds that are produced during digestion by the hydrolytic breakdown of proteins right that protein short of the amino acid stage right. So, the other one is the peptone which is soluble protein formed in the early stage of protein breakdown during digestion early stage of protein breakdown this is uh, soluble uh, protein right formed in the stage of protein breakdown during digestion. Then peptide, peptidic bond or peptide bonds this you have heard many times right here also in some other classes also. So, here what is that peptide is composed of or consist peptide is a compound consisting of two or more amino acids linked in a chain the carboxyl group of each acid being pointed uh, being joined to the amino acid amino group of the next by a bla, uh, by a by a bond by a bond and uh, this bond is of the type ocnh right this bond is of the type called o C N C N H right. So, this is the one that peptide does basic definition is similar all pepti pept uh, protease peptone and peptide the definition wise they are similar, but uh, peptone which is a soluble protein formed in the easily uh, formed in the early stage of protein breakdown during digestion. So, during digestion at the early breakdown because uh, that uh, helps to digest the material and uh, it is that basic definition of is similar peptone a uh, 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 soluble protein formed in the early stage of uh, protein breakdown during digestion and pepsin converts proteins to peptones pepsin converts proteins to peptones right and what is that peptone here you have seen a soluble protein formed in the easy uh, in the early stage of protein breakdown during digestion right. So, this protease and peptides when it comes it is peptide has a different definition, but it can be applied to the other two uh, other two uh, as uh, but it can be applied to the other two as all are degraded proteins, but not amino acids of course, because proteins are made of amino acids and amino acids are consisting uh, many amino acids which are connected and they are forming some proteins right. So, 
if we see that the that the uh, proto, uh, peptones or prote, uh, proteos and peptides okay all are pepsin convert right and during and during the digestion this conversion happens that pepsin converts protein peptones and proteos right into peptides so then comes what what is that peptide is uh, uh, rather peptide has a different definition but it can be applied to other two as are degraded proteins but are not amino acids as these are degraded proteins but not amino acids because amino acids are the simplest or smallest unit right so it could be that it is got degraded during the processing whatever be the thing process but it could have been degraded but not the amino acids because they have altogether different uh, connotation and they are, uh, the degraded so uh, it is that the proteins are not amino acids uh, degraded proteins are there and amino acid being the simplest or smallest unit uh, that cannot be degraded further right thank you